Okay, in a previous video I showed how I built this VOT. In this video I'm going to show you how I built the uh, rotors and the stator. I'm using uh, seven and a quarter inch saw blades and ceramic magnets. Um, I laid it out on a piece of plywood. Uh, this is going to be my guide for how I build the uh, serpentine coil later. I glue the magnets on. I used eight ceramic magnets, one inch by two inch by quarter inch and then I covered the entire um, rotor with varnish uh, to protect it from the weather. After this I had laid out the, um, the positions of the magnets on this piece of wood and cut and put in PVC. This is the shape for my serpentine coil. I used a rope to measure the length and then I measured it out and this is how I got the um, the circumference for the uh, the coil. I laid it on a piece of plywood and cut it out and then I drilled holes and this is going to allow to uh, put tie wraps in after I wind the the coil. So What you end up doing is winding a large coil uh, this one ended up being, I think it was 75 turns, and this is 22 gauge wire. So I made this little jig, wound it 75 times. I cut this down a little bit, it's, and then I go back and tie wrap it, keep it from all falling apart. Once I get it all tie wrapped, then what I do is I um, I weave it in and out of the uh, PVC pieces of pipe. I I don't have that to show you. I just went straight to uh, to after I did it. Um, this is what it looks like, and then I did this three times, and so that gives me my three phases. And then I I offset it uh, what 120 degrees each one. Uh, tie wrapped them together and I used the same mold that I used for my last stator and I used fiberglass matting on the bottom and a fiberglass resin and sealed it up inside there and here's the uh, what it looks like when it was done now uh, I'm making the bridge rectifier now what I used for this was I used a an old uh, 400 watt inverter that I had and I gutted it out, it would burn up, and I gutted it out and uh, made a piece of metal to hold my two uh, bridge rectifiers on that slide into the housing. And then what I did was on the back where the two lugs were that go out, that, that were supposed to come in from your battery, I'm using that that goes out to my battery. And so on the one side is going to be my three phases in and on the other side I just uh, wired them all together that's gonna be my break and the way it works is my three phases come in from my um, stator and go to my bridge rectifiers then my bridge rectifiers my positive and negative out go to the back and then that'll go to my battery uh, pretty simple and uh, you yeah, know worked out good to use this little box looks nice uh, my first tests were pretty simple uh, not too much wind I got about four and a half volts out of it um, probably about 10 mile an hour wind and you can see I just plug in uh, straight from the uh, generator I plug right into the uh, to the power input and then if I want to use the brake I plug it in the other side so thanks for watching